Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos. I'm the Worm, this is the Proton. Uh, today we're going to be doing a mechanical mod of which we did receive free, but we've got to send it back. Uh, yeah. We got this one from Neil, um, it's a mechanical mod, and it is. Uh, today, what we're doing is the um, Enzonic uh, V3 clone, um, clone uh, by EH Pro. Um, so, we got it from Neil, who got it from Timo, who got it from Mods and Atties.com. Uh, um, price that is thirty five ninety nine, which is very reasonable price for a nice mech. Um, so yeah, that is what it is. So we've we've had a little play of it over the last couple of weeks, um, and we've uh, we've done a little we'll do a little review of it. So what we'll do is we'll show you very quickly what you're going to get with it. Point out a couple of little bits and bobs, um, and we'll come back up to us and uh, have a flat in our traditional fashion. Right, guys, this is a close up of the um, EH Pro Enzonic V3. Um, just a quick show you what you get, guys. Basically, um, so obviously. Box, lovely stuff. Uh, pumping her up, and inside you've got your your mod. Obviously, okay, we'll pull that in. Uh, we'll go into what's in the box. I guess first of all, um, if you lift out your little uh, insert there, you've got um, a little mod pouch, EH Pro written on it, which is quite nice. Um, and then inside you've got an additional tube, which we'll go into in one sec. So that's what we get in the box. Um, very quickly over the mod. Um, as you can see it guys, basically EH Pro on the sides, you've got your venting up here um, and then you've also got additional venting down the bottom there as well, which is awesome stuff. Um, we'll take it apart I think very quickly, um, well, we will if we can remember what weight it is, there we go. Um, first off guys, fully uh, magnetic switch in there, so big thumbs up for that. And we'll move on to the tubes real quick, um, obviously bottom tube. Um, this is your smaller of the two central tubes, um, as you can see, much, much smaller. So that is what it is, obviously different battery configurations. Uh, and you've got your top section and your top cap, um, which is Filipino flagged, um, like the Enzonic is, which isn't always good stuff, but that is what it is. And um, well, well, I've got the head, so I might as well go in with a head. Um, fairly simple stuff, guys, screw threaded in. Um, the contact does look quite high, but with this, basically what we do, you just get your, your atomizer, whatever it is you're using at the time, screw it in, and as you screw it in, it will force out that pin to the point that it needs it. Okay, um, and obviously, you'd then attach the rest of the body, uh, and that would give you your connection. Um, and then your pin will just push back in. So, it's an adjustable pin, um, which means you can flash mount any and everything you wanted to, which is awesome. In terms of drip well, I mean, there's a bit of space for, for juice, but Let's face it, you get it into one of them channels and it's going straight into your connection and a little one around the outside is only a couple of drops for it worth really but so yeah not much of a drip wheel and there's no air feed if you're taking air for your 510 guys so just bear that in mind um I'll quickly put it back together so basically top cap onto your main body section um, we'll go into well, tube I suppose very quickly um for 650 obviously use the biggest tube with this tube that there is as far as it will go into the top um, and obviously this will go down to what will go down to where the battery stops it but that is as with the switch that is as close as you're going to get this mod with that tube in it you will not be able to make it any smaller um, so that is what it is chances are you'd have a battery in there anyway but just something to bear in mind um, so that tube is literally 650 only alright guys so if you're not running 650 you're not going to need to worry about that oh, no. um, Whereas this tube, the smaller of the two, is your 500 and 350. So your 500 will be set somewhere around there, um, and your 350 all the way closed, like so. Um, and that is fairly simple. Um, we've done a little size comparison against a few other mods. Obviously, being a, ma a magnetic switch, they tend to be slightly bigger. Um, if we put it next to the Chi, for example, you've got basically the switch size difference. Um, we did stack this up against a magneto right next to it, and the difference was discernible, there was nothing really, we're talking sort of fractions of a mil, mil at most, so that is worth um, thinking about guys, it's going to be slightly bigger on 350 if you like really small mods. Um, your locking switch is reverse threaded, it is reverse threaded, there we go, um, and I've got to say that the thread on that is ridiculously smooth, just, I was sat there playing with it the other night just because I could, um, but that is what it is. You've got some brass work or plated brass or some, something down here, but there's brass work here. Um, and then as we get into the bottom, you've got your switch, which has got a um, bit of plastic in there, which someone's obviously left by accident, I'd imagine. Um, 
no, it's not. It's obviously styled after the Enzonic, and in the Enzonic that'd be a crystal. But I know that um, Zen uses a lot of different uh, stuff. Whatever he's got to hand, basically. In this, it's a blue bit of plastic. Personally, I would pull that out if this was mine. Um, but it's not uh, around the edge. You've got some knurling. Uh, it doesn't really serve any practical purpose because doing this doesn't really do anything apart from it can undo the switch uh, if you really want to undo it. Or um, I would have rather have seen a complete. Uh, flat edge, flatted edge around there, and not this slatted sort of affair that's going on. Um, as far as the button push, it's you can get it anywhere. I say that, and look, it won't fire there. Um, if you're getting right on the edge, you might struggle, but I haven't found any issues with this firing um, switch on this at all. Uh, the only thing is that it will, you can't see it, but it will just fire under its own weight without an atty on top or a battery inside it. Um, so, something to bear in mind, guys, is just make sure you're locking your device off. Um, not really much more we can say guys, stainless steel and alley, um, there are some really good um, mixes here, we're so much so that me and Wilma were actually sceptical as to what is stainless steel and what is alley, so we're not putting our name to anything. Um, the only other minor gripe that I've got is that the EH Pro, as you can see here, and this one here, um, it's not a problem, I'd rather have that than like Enzonic, but they've done that, so pointless. But it, it does annoy me that that's not level, um, if you can see it's just it's slightly off level. Uh, whether that's intentional or not, I don't know, but yeah, that's that's the only other sort of gripe that I've got with it. That is what it is, guys. That's pretty much it, up close, personal. It's um fairly simple stuff, really. Uh, so we'll come back up to us now and have a nice little flap. All right, guys, that was the uh, up close of the EH Pro Enzonic clone version 3 dingly dangly. I think that's everything. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, so that was it. Uh, the up close, obviously, the two different tubes, which is nice, and obviously the little mod carrier bag thing you get. Little mod pouch. Yeah, it's all right. It's, it's, it's not bad for his parts. I mean, it's a nice little uh, touch, shall we say. Yeah, it's nice to get one. It's nice to get a box, to be honest with you. Usually, I don't get that. Um, a few things you said in the close up, which I'm winging because I can't remember. Um, uh, in regards to like the plastic in the bottom. Like, I, I, <laughs> I know why they've done it because obviously they clone the Enzonic and the Enzonic's got the Swarovski crystal or something in, somewhere over in the bottom of it. But I know that Zen has used more than one stone for that um, particular mod. Um, I, I just, just, just a nice a nice flat bottom would have been nice. Um, and then this knurling, again, being brass and stuff, it's going to sort of fade very quickly and get damaged again. I'd like that to just been sort of flatted uh, and then it would have been a bit. More blending, if you ask me, but that is what it is. Um, we did say as well that the throw on this is well, we didn't say that the throw on it is it's not short, it's not stupidly long, but it's not short. So, if you like a really short throw, then maybe not the most ideal mod, but I'm sure that you could modify that if you chose to. But the throw is really soft touch, so it's not the, the length of it isn't actually not much of a problem because the actual throw is actually so soft, it's um, it's probably a little bit softer than the magneto to be honest because uh, the, the magnets in that don't feel as strong, no. but. It is what it is guys, I mean, the, the magnet switch definitely works because it's pushing the button away so it's not always firing. It's that doing what it needs to be doing, it's just giving you a nice softer touch to be honest and um, sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, so. It's dependent on your preference. Um, brass contacts guys, as you see, I mean you've got the magnets but everything else is brass. Um, whilst we're on contacts, um, tanker meter's not here, you can see we're on location today so we thought we'd stop off and do a quick video for you. Um, I did test this on the Tanko uh, and it was bouncing between uh, under the normal load, 1.5 on load, uh, fresh charged battery, it was bouncing between 0.25 and 0.15 of a drop off, so we'll call it 0.2 of a drop off under load, um, which is pretty, pretty bloody respectable to be honest. It's around the ballpark of the Magneto as well, um, give or take sort of 10%, I can't remember exactly what the Magneto it's, was. It's about the same. It's yeah. about the same. Um, so it does, it hits very well, um, it does hit very well, um, and obviously the advantage it's got over the Magneto, in my opinion, is the, the center pin thing going on there, you can't do it on the Magneto, I know there's a version 2 head that you, uh, you have got adjustment with, um, but they're not actually stuck it on the mod to sell it, you have to buy it separately, which increases the price of the mod, which is a bit of a joke, but that is what it is. Um, in terms of everything else, it's solid, it is, there's, there's, there's nothing, I mean I've used this quite a bit, you haven't used it as much as me, have you? but no, I've used, used, it, used it quite a bit, and um, it's, it's a very, very nice mod, it's very well built, it's, everything seems to tighten it together, for screw threads are fantastic. Um, you've got your tube options, which is always good stuff. I mean, it's telescopic to an extent, if you if, if, the, if that's the best way to describe it, maybe. But um, yeah, if you do like to go 350, 650, you are going to have to carry that extra tube with you. It's just 
the way it's laid, unfortunately. But hey ho. Um, should we get to a five point here? And then yeah. We'll, on the other side. Okay, cool. Uh, looks looks of the uh, DH Pro Enzonic version three clone. Um, it's not a bad looking model. I, I've, it's actually quite nice. So I'd give it a nine. There'd be certain things I would like to change in it. I think it's the same as with you. There's certain things you would like changed, but um, overall, it's actually a really good looking mod, and um, I'd be quite happy to own one tomorrow. So yeah, nine. Okay. Um, for me, looks. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 9. The only reason like, I can't give it a 10 is because of that knurled and that stone. Um, barring that, pretty much spot on. I'd like to see the H Pro off a bit or at least level just so it doesn't get on my tip. It's, it, it is fractional, guys. It is fractional. I know I'm anal about this stuff, but I look at it and think, you bastards. You've done it purposely to annoy me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, and yeah, it's, it's one of them ones, basically. Um, we did mention that this was Timo's who sold it to Neil, and Neil just got it delivered straight to us so we could play with it and then directly back to him. Uh, the reason Timo didn't like this is because of that button. Uh, he said it was too soft for him. So if you do like a firm push or a short throw, be aware that you're probably not going to get that without modification. So that yeah, is maybe changing the magnets and everything, but again, that's a lot of um, tinkering. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a tinkerer and you don't like the soft throw, maybe not where you want to go. But um, usability of it, it's, it's a mechanical mod. I mean, Let's be honest, how hard is it to use mechanical mods? You put a charged battery in and add it on top with relevant resistance for a mechanical mod, you're good to go. All you've got to do is remember to unlock that locking switch. It's reverse threaded, remember. That's it, it's only 10. Um, usability for me, I think it's really usable. I like it. I mean, it's going to take, I'm not going to give it a lower mark because of it, but it's worth mentioning that you've got to change the tube, so it's not quite as easy to use as a magneto, oh, it's going to be 19, something like that. Um, because you've got to change tubes and it's not just unscrew it until your battery fits basically. Um, but then the adjustable centre pin on this is beautifully simple. <coughs> Sorry guys, just screw your in all the way down to this flush and then up you go. Um, so yeah, usability is going to get a 10, it's a mechanical mod, you put a battery in and you're pretty much set. So that is what it is. Um, maintenance of this, I mean, there isn't much of a drip well, so any juice is going to go down the side if you have mod. Um, Which I found out several times. Yeah. Um, so the maintenance is pretty much going to be clean as you go if you do over drip, if you're using a drip out or if you're uh, Hands on leaks anyway. you whatever is leaked which is, has been doing lately. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, but you, you'll see it as you come or you feel it on your hand and you'll immediately give it a wipe and other than that it's just keeping your contacts clean. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You'll see it as it comes and you'll feel it on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just childish. Um, yeah, sorry, go on. Uh, yeah. You're throwing me off now. <laughs> you said the juice, drip well, stuff down your hand, wipe it off. Yeah, so the rest of the cleaning is just keeping your contacts clean um, whenever they do start to build up uh, a little bit of stuff and dirt and things. I'm trying to keep it clean now because he's just going to go into a giggle fit otherwise. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, it's just a simple clean wipe down and you're good to go again. Indeed. Um, oh, ten. Oh, ten. Okay. Maintenance for me. Um, yeah, as Worm said, the drip well isn't ideal. Um, it could do with being slightly deeper. Personally, and this is just personally, I'd like to see the flag gone um, and just a smaller sort of indent circle around the five ten to give you an actual well. If nothing to do with clone purposes, I couldn't care less that it's the, the Filipino flag and blah 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 blah. blah. Um, I just I think make it practical. Let's let's just let's choose practical ever uh, practically have a form anyway. Um, Barring that, it's just yeah, it's a general wipe over and uh, contact clean. It's a brush finish, there are bits of aluminium on here, so they will, or aluminium if you're American, uh, and they will um, tarnish or scratch quicker than stainless steel would. But um, that being said, I've had this for a couple of weeks and there's no visible scratches on here, and if I can have it for two weeks without scratching it, then you'll be okay. Um, that is what it is though. So yeah, ten, I'm going to give it a 10. I, I don't think the little niggles with it are anywhere near justifying knocking a point off to be honest with you. Also guys this is a mod so we can do build quality and price. Um, it's 3499 did you say it was? 3599. 3599. It's a 36 quid in the basic. 36 pound. Um, for that sort of price you don't really get much better in build quality. Um, stainless steel, the threadings are nice, you get a magnetic switch. Build quality is a 10. Plus you've got that play with the uh, centre pin as well. Always happy to see that, um, it's always nice. Um, price it's reasonable, it's in its market, it's in about the right price range between 30 and 40 pound for this sort of type of clone. Um, 
Yeah, I think it's reasonably priced as well. I'm going to give it a 10 for its price as well because the build quality is superb. Um, for me, build quality and price, price $35.99. Um, in terms of build quality, I would like to say it feels like a bit more than what your money's worth. Um, if I compare this to like, like site, likewise, um, devices, um, things that like the Sigourney Light Inbox head straight away and the Magneto, um, I think this is built better than both of them. Um, this, don't get me wrong, the material quality isn't as good, but I think the way that it's all knit together is, is, I mean, you've got no real body movement when you when you're giving it a push. Um, the switch is awesome, which again is on the magneto as well, so it's not taking anything away from that mod. But I think in terms of overall, this is probably the best of those three. Um, and for the price, which is thirty six quid, the Sigeli slightly less, the magneto slightly more. This sits in the middle, and I think it's worth every penny. More than I, I would be more than happy to own this. I really would. Um, what well, I know this is more design than build quality. The only thing that does kind of the vent holes at the top. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of vent holes anywhere near the top of a mod. That's just something I want to point out. I mean, there are vent holes at the bottom as well, but I would have rather have seen four holes down here than two here and two here. That's just something to point out. And then again, no air channels um, for your flush mountain, which is annoying because you've got a perfect pin for it, but then you have got a perfect pin for it, so it's good stuff. Overall, uh, overall, um, including everything. I mean, it's all got high marks and pretty much everything. Can um, I think anyone out there looking for a mechanical mod at a reasonable price, I would put my money here, I would. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best out there for a starter maybe, but someone who's used to mechanical mods, definitely worth a, a little drop of like £36. Nice little Christmas present to yourself. <laughs> yeah, 10. Um, for me overall, uh, yeah, it's a 10 straight away. It is a 10. It's, it's built like a tank. It hits really well. The switch... Although it's if it, it is soft and you can't put it down, we're kind of used to that with pretty much every other mod that we own now, cheese and that kind of stuff. So um, doesn't really have part in it as much. Yeah, it, it's got to be a ten for that price. It's ridiculous um, for it not to be. There's other mods out there that are a lot more money than this and aren't as good. Um, yeah, it's a client and all that hoo ha, but at least it's got EH Pro written on it so you know and um, to be honest with you EH Pro are doing some really really good stuff at the minute really really solid builds um, and just performing out of the box as they should do and some of them improved um, over what they're cloning so that is what it is but yeah overall it's definitely a 10 I can't do anything but recommend this I would much rather have this than my 19 I really would and I love the 19 so <laughs> I, do, I do but I mean we, we <laughs> picked it up the other day went to use it it was like Jesus Christ <laughs> to slam it in to keep, compared to like these other mods that we've got and the short throws and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, no, this is a it's a very very good mod. Uh, I love the fact that it's completely flush at the top, so you can flush mount. That's um that's a big thumbs up. Twenty three mil, so close every time. <laughs> uh, Twenty three mil, so things like your IFAC or your IFAC clones and that kind of stuff will fit on there. Your K ones are slightly smaller, but um, for the money, I mean this is this is work mod money. This is throw around mod money, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely worth each and every penny. I think you'll you'll quite quite enjoy owning this because I know that I've been enjoying using it. I don't want to sell it back to Neil, but I'm going to have to. Um, <laughs> just one of them things, I suppose, isn't it? But um, yeah, no, definitely, definitely recommend it. Is there anything else you want to? Not really. Just like a big thank you to Neil, really, mainly for sending this before he even touched yeah, it himself. Neil's I mean. bought this, let him got to use it. Yeah, bless him. Um, he's been waiting what a couple of weeks now, at least, and yeah, um, yeah we I, I know like, he's been waiting, but. We, I, we was having a week off, I did say this in quite a few videos beforehand, um, so sorry Neil, you had to wait a little bit more, but... So I was talking about a few of his products to review, so you're going to be waiting another week anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry mate! Um, but yeah, that is what it is, obviously thank you to Neil, and obviously Timo sold it to Neil, he sent it down to us beforehand. Uh, anyway, and also check out modernatives.com guys, they, they do basically specialise in clones, but it's all the... Not necessarily branded stuff, and it's all it's all built well and reliable companies. Definitely worth checking them out. I would say, in terms of a company as a whole, it's more like a a reliable clone ish. <laughs> it's it's a UK fast tech. Yeah, um, should we say? But, <laughs> but no one is but you're getting the quality that you expect from. Well, you're getting stainless steel all the time and brass connections and all that kind of stuff floating out. Uh, adjustable pins and all that kind of stuff all the good mm. stuff you want they seem to have on everything they kind of tweaked everything to work for everyone as a whole good company um, to do with in general and also they've decorated their site for christmas which is also nice yeah 
But um, yeah, definitely check them out, guys. I mean, we'll put them up here. We'll link them down there. Although we didn't get it from them, that's where you can get it. And I think that's where uh, Tim had bought this from anyway. So yeah, we'll link that for you just so you can go check it out because we think it's worth a look. Um, and Facebook, Twitter, and all that kind of normal bump will be down there as well if you want to have a look at that as well, guys. Uh, I think we're pretty much wrapping up. Nice and quick one for us at work. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. This has been the Enzonic V3 Climb Review. Uh, I've been Mr. Pro. It's been the worm. See you soon.